James Lund is James, the wine guy right now, James, the coffee guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Ethiopia Sadama coffee roasted in Austin, Texas. So stay tuned. is Third Coast Coffee, uh, Ethiopia Sadama, 100% organic coffee, fair trade cooperative. Back panel for inspection here, and I like how it says that this is a medium roast profile, and again from Austin, Texas. So being in Austin, actually in uh, Dallas, I was at Central Market, and uh, I go through everything, every aisle. It's an amazing grocer, and I wish there was something like it here in Northern California, but there isn't. It's a store that has amazing produce section, uh, seafood case, meat case, as well as their uh, their wine selection, beer selection, uh, coffee selection, everything is just so well done. It's just an overall great assortment. Prepared foods are pretty amazing as well. So what I do often when I travel is I'll pick up three things more often than not. I'll pick up a bottle of wine, I'll pick up some coffee, and I'll pick up some honey. And uh, it's a really great way of uh, you know remembering that experience. So you get a different signature, say in terms of the honey, or maybe uh, the roasting profile of this particular producer. And uh, so I think the answer is that uh, you know really go out there, seek, and get that full story of what's happening. Uh, Ten years ago, I wouldn't have found these great producers because they really didn't exist in, throughout the United States. It's a, a really you know in the past ten years, this great revolution of food and uh, you know wine culture, and uh, I should say the beverage arts culture has evolved considerably in the United States. You could only depend on the coast at one point, that is uh, Pacific Northwest or the West Coast and East Coast, Northeast basically. And uh, But you find you can travel throughout the U.S. and find great producers in Dallas or Arkansas or Colorado, New Mexico or you know Chicago and, and the list goes on and on. And uh, so I think these are great times that we live in. So here we go with this uh, particular coffee uh, characteristic. Uh, I'll take a taste, give some flavor characteristic feedback as well as a point score. Mm. So on this, I'm getting rose petals, violets, polished stones, nutmeg, hint of cacao, and cinnamon. I give this coffee a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. I think this is 93 points out of 100 points. And uh, I'll put more information on the producer down below. And uh, really seek them out. When you're in Austin, obviously stop by. But also, you know, you might find it at Central Market if you're uh, in Texas but not in the Austin area. So it's a great way of discovering uh, producers and what is the inspiration. And being here on the coastal side of the United States, I think it's really, the lesson is that there are some great things. There's no doubt about it. That's why I live here. So throughout the United States, you're getting a revolution in the beverage arts culture as well as food culture. And uh, without traveling, I wouldn't find these experiences. I wouldn't really find this uh, coffee because uh, I think you have to be there to get that. Because uh, coffee, uh, with the exception of a few brands, is really a regional uh, label distribution. And uh, so I really like to see what's out there. So thank you so much for watching me today. Again, uh, more information will be listed down below. And also, please subscribe to my video channel, give a like, and share this video. Stay tuned for more. An amazing 2014 in the beverage arts. And thank you so much for watching me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And salute.